Okay, so I want to clarify the idea of the center of mass, how it affects girls versus guys. So, I have a skewer and a tomato because that's what I had in my kitchen. Alright, so, if we look at the skewer, we're imagining that the skewer is the human body. Stabby, stabby. Okay, so, let's imagine this, this is currently a guy. Center of mass is about here, right? I can balance. Alright, so there's the center of mass of the guy. Now the girl I mentioned was two inches lower. When I say two inches lower, that doesn't just mean I'm sliding this down two inches and this down two inches. Um, what it actually ends up being is you go from guy and then to get to girl, you slide them closer and then also down two inches. So you get a center of mass there. Now, when you're looking at the center of mass of a standing person, that's what the straight line sort of represents is a standing person, blah, center of mass. Um, it sort of seems obvious that it, it stays in the same place, but what, where it changes is when the roll starts. So if I have a guy and I break his hips so that when he bends over, when the guy bends over, his center of mass now transfers way down here. So if you imagine him rolling around his upper body, this is actually in the center of the circle. And by that being in the center of the circle, he can actually continue his trend downward. Now, for a girl on the other hand, because again, we're talking about them being closer and two inches down, when they bend at the hips now, their feet are still here, their head and hands are here, so their center of mass is way up here. So this is the center of their rotation. So what you're gonna have is your center of mass up here is going to drop, and it's gonna drop hard in a way you really don't want it to. Um, the roll will actually cause the center of mass to follow something called a curtate cycloid. Uh, if you look that up, you'll understand a little bit more what I'm talking about. Uh, the curtate cycloid is what becomes dangerous for the woman when she rolls. So uh, this is actually based on the structure of the hips and the fact that the hips are wider. Uh, it doesn't matter entirely if you're more muscly or more fatty, it doesn't matter for guys or girls, uh, it's, it's the bone structure. So guys tend to have wider shoulders, girls tend to have wider hips. So whether it's uh, muscle, fat, blood, fleshy things, doesn't matter. Um, it will still change your center of mass. There are women who have a higher center of mass, they have wider shoulders and they do a lot of upper body. In that case, they can probably still do a guy roll, which is when you would do that test to see if you actually need it. Um, so uh, yeah, so the the difference in the center of mass becomes much greater when you start the roll because of this bend in the hips. That's when the center of mass differentiates different greatly because when they're straight, the center of mass doesn't change much when I move them. But if you're bent and you move them, the center of mass goes from here all the way down to here, and it can be almost a foot of difference. So a couple of safety points um, as. Uh, Anyone's actually pointed out to me. Um, I suggest you look at that video that I posted, girl or guy, to see uh, the important points of safety. Um, he mentions the, the iliac crest and the spine and how you want to avoid these two points. And then there's the ribs. Normal roll goes in between the spine and the iliac crest. Uh, in the girl roll, you're actually going in between the ribs and the spine. So you actually have to worry about hitting, or sorry, the, in the girl roll, you're going in between the ribs and the iliac crests, so you have to worry about hitting both of those. You have to make sure that you go through that soft spot in between, uh, just like you go through the soft spot in between here. Um, another important point is uh, not straightening um, the closer leg as you come up out of the roll. Um, not straightening the closer leg as you come up out of the roll, that will cause your knee to slap. So, as you go into the girl roll and your hips rock, you don't want this leg to straighten because you come down hard onto this leg uh, from the rotation. If, on the other hand, when you come through, you keep this bent, it should come down fairly softly and you'll come down in a very similar way to a guy roll, it's just your body will be out here. So your chest will be facing the other way, but the exit will be the same as the guy roll, so look at Amos's video for the guy roll. Um, 